welcome back to my channel Kuluru Vinit. So in the last video of the expense tracker playlist, we uh, have written the transaction DAO. So we'll continue writing the data layer. So today uh, I will write the converters and also the I'll implement one uh, repository, transaction repository. And so, so let's start coding, okay? So first I will create uh, one package in the local itself. That is, uh, let me name that as the uh, converters okay and here uh, we i have to write the uh, function called i mean class called the date converter okay so i will write that so basically this is nothing but uh, we some types will not be available in the uh, data table base tables so those conversions we have to take care and let the database know okay this is how if you encounter a conversion from this date to long you can refer to this converter okay we have to let the database know so if we write this and annotate with the converters then that will take care of uh, all the job okay so let me write this as a date converter okay so I will make this as open see if we can inherit somewhere else the first is uh, we have to annotate this with the type converter okay here first two functions to date okay here we will get the uh, input in the form of the long that is long and uh, we have to return of type date okay now we will just we have to convert the date long uh, to the to date of the parameter okay so this will convert the uh, date of long type to the date of date type okay and uh, one more is the uh, from date okay so this is nothing but okay this uh, we have to convert from date to the long okay so return date dot time okay so this is the one converter now we uh, have created already a repository package so in this we will implement first the transactions repository which were created in the domain layer so okay so let me create that class called transaction repository impl implementation okay so here so now let me um, create and inject the uh, first the required thing to carry out this operation that is we would need the transaction DAO which we have created in the previous video so with this we'll, we will be implementing all operations on the table okay so now let me inherit the transaction repository okay and implement all members okay let me select okay so i'll implement all of them and now we will write the respective we we'll just call the respective functions on the dev repository okay so for first tra insert transactions that will be nothing but transaction dev or insert transaction and parameter okay so here again we will do the same thing that is transaction dev dot insert accounts and we will pass accounts okay and do the same here for the daily transactions so here it is written type so we have to transaction dev dot get daily transaction and input parameter entry date okay and here again get transactions by account type so we will return transaction dev dot get transaction by account and pass that account type okay here get account so we will again return transaction dao dot get account and pass this account parameter and do the same here return transaction dao dot 
split accounts okay and here call the same get all transaction function return transaction dot dot get all transactions and here call transaction dot dot there is transaction and here get current expansion expense so return transaction dot dot get current expense transaction okay by default we have mentioned it as the expense right okay and here get weekly expense transaction okay return get weekly expense transaction so again here return get monthly sorry i have to call transaction dot dot get weekly transaction expense transaction and here also transaction dot dot get monthly expense transaction and here also return transaction dot dot get weekly transaction and pass the transaction type and again here return transaction dot get seven day transaction and pass transaction type and here return transaction dot get fourteen day transaction pass the transaction type parameter and uh, so this we will return transaction dot dot get start of the month and pass transaction type and here again we will pass transaction dot dot get last one transaction and and pass transaction type and finally get transaction by type so here we will pass the transaction and get transaction by type and pass the transaction type okay so this is the uh, implementation of the transactions repository okay so with this we'll be able to carry out all the operations on the transactions database okay so this is it for this video thank you so much for your love and support and uh, there'll be a lot more exciting content coming up on the channel please subscribe and uh, thank you